Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another blind playthrough of the Parallel Investigator challenge scenarios. And this time we are playing All or Nothing with Skit's Parallel Investigator. Uh, this time we are heading into La Bella Luna or in the Clover Club and uh, trying to accumulate as much resources as possible without getting kicked out by the gangsters. So, uh, I have already set up the scenario. Uh, we have the La Bella Luna where we start, then we have the Clover Club uh, locations. And uh, I am not using the Return to uh, House Always Wins scenario cards, so I'm playing this uh, without those. And uh, let's first look at what kind of deck we built for skits. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamDB.com and here is my skits of tool in all or nothing scenario deck. As you can see, <laughs> I went pretty event heavy, so I have 14 events in the 25 uh, card deck and I've used uh, 38 experience, so there are uh, four basic weaknesses in the deck. But let's go over the cards quickly. So for getting some clues, I added two flashlights. Uh, I was debating on putting the lockpicks, but I think uh, for for this, uh, the flashlight is good enough. And I didn't want to add the experience version lockpicks. Then uh, we have Eon Chart. Again, this is a really powerful card, and if we, I can take it, I will. Uh, I opted to take first the level 4 version, but I was running low on experience to use, so I ended up using the uh, XP uh, level 1 uh, Eon chart. So this helps us evade and investigate, and also move when we need extra actions. Then uh, Jean is a really powerful ally, and because she boosts our intellect and agility, she is a really good ally to have, and also because we want to uh, evade or, or not be engaged with enemies, uh, she helps us to get rid of enemies at our location, so she pushes them away. Also, we can get clues if we need to to our location or something like that. And she's a good ally altogether. Then to keep in the theme of getting resources, I added Gregory Dry. I don't have charisma, so whichever of these comes first, I will play. And um, if I get Gregory first, then uh, I will upgrade to Jean when I get her. Then we have one copy of Lone Wolf to accumulate more resources over the game. Uh, Unscrupulous Loan is a really good card for this scenario. There is limit one per investigator, so I only added one copy. And I did the same with the Lone Wolf. Uh, then we have Well Connected Level 3. Uh, this is a really good stat booster when we have a bunch of resources. So for each four... Uh, resources we have, we can use this to get plus four skill level. And if we need to use this uh, multiple times a turn, we can spend two resources as a fast action uh, to ready this. So we can do, uh, it has a limit one, once per round, so we can use this twice around if we need to. Then uh, to the skills, we have 21 or bust. This is just because I like the card and it is in the theme of getting resources. So hopefully we can score a lot of resources with this. Also, easy mark. Uh, this is always my go-to resource generating card instead of emergency cash. So I added this. Then ethereal slip. Uh, I haven't played this a lot, but I have tried it a couple of times. So I thought to add this to the deck, and I think level 0 is good enough for this scenario. 
then of course two copies of level five uh, level four hot streak so this is just to gain resources and uh, lucky level three to draw more cards and get plus three to the skill test we are doing so for example uh, if we have to um, do something some hard um, skill test this is a really good card and lastly we have sure gamble times two so this is a really really powerful card and that is all the player cards so we ended up getting uh, internal injury nihilism and obsessive and also overzealous so overzealous will be a bad one the others are not that bad luckily uh, we can deal with those so it is just a double action to get rid of those and we have the Eon chart to have extra actions if we have to deal with this uh, in a turn so that is basically all of the deck I ended up adding the advanced versions of the on the lamb and uh, hospital depths into the deck so because the on the lamb is so powerful I think the hospital depths is doable and that is why I added those versions so that is all I wanted to talk about the deck so let's hop back over to the scenario okay and uh, we start at La Bella Luna uh, Skits is already there and it is a two strap location with one clue already there the big boss is in play in the Clover Club lounge as usual and we want to avoid that enemy as much as possible but we'll see how this goes so uh, without further delay let's get started okay and we are ready to begin so first off the pitbull uh, on the act one has a roof as usual uh, if we defeat any criminals, which we probably won't do, because I don't have any attack cards in the deck or fighting cards, uh, we would uh, place Doom onto the agenda. The agenda threshold is 11, so this isn't that long of a scenario. Um, also, if we get 15 or more resources, we will advance the playing cards uh, acts. Then also, if Skits is defeated, we go to Resolution 2 immediately. Uh, and um, we can spend our clues in the Clover Club card room. So for each clue spent, we will uh, generate five resources per clue. So we will need some clues. And also, uh, we want to get as much as resources as possible. Mm, the Resolution says that if we get 10 resources per player, then we get the minimum of the bonus available, and uh, 60 resources or more, we get the best um, reward possible, which is uh, 3 bonus experience and 6 additional resources for the next scenario, but uh, we will we won't care about the resources we just try to get as many and get out before we get defeated so let's draw our opening hand so one two three four five let's see of course we redraw the weaknesses so it seems we are playing Jean Bordeaux immediately I think uh, we'll keep the easy mark and the flashlight And I think I'm keeping the uh, whole hand for now. So we shuffle the overzealous back into the deck. Uh, also, the deck building for skits, uh, para parallel skits is a bit different. So the deck size is only 25 cards, and there is like some changes to what cards are available, but you can check them on arkhamdb.com. I won't go into detail deck building um, of Skid's parallel ver version. So 
let's see how we want to do this. So uh, also uh, Skits has a new ability. So fast trigger ability, spend three resources, test the base skill value of three against difficulty equal to the amount of resources you spent. If you succeed, gain twice the number of spent resources only. Uh, agility and wild skill icons may be committed to this test limit once per round. And Elder Sign is uh, plus one, choose a level two or less card in your discard pile, add the chosen card to your hand. So we have the ability to generate resources, but I think we are starting by playing the easy mark. So we gain two resources, draw a card, we get another Eon chart. I think we are waiting with the Eon chart and second action we will play flashlight. And I think we'll play uh, Gene next turn. So for this turn we will investigate using the flashlight. So we are investigating uh, zero uh, or three versus zero. Let's see how this goes. So. I could actually just uh, try the skits ability at the end of the round, but we will see. So it's a minus three. That still means we succeed because the fraud is zero here. And uh, that is our turn. We won't use skits ability yet, so we are bound to have the resources to play Jean. So at the enemy phase, the pit boss moves to La Bella Luna. We'll gain a card. It is hot streak, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom to the agenda. Encounter cards for this turn is hunted down. If there are no un uh, unengaged criminal enemies in play, hunted down can search. There are one or more unengaged enemy criminals. Each of them moves one location towards you. Each criminal enemy that engages you as a result of this effect makes an immediate attack. Well, uh, the pit boss has a loop, so... Mm, let's see. So, this basically does nothing because the... Uh, let's see. So the pit boss moves and this does nothing because it's still aloof. So lucky break there. First action, we will play Gene with five resources. So let's look. So Gene has that you get one intellect and one agility during your turn after you move to a location, exhaust Jin Perdor, move a clue or a non-elite enemy from a connecting location to your location or vice versa. We are not using that ability yet, but let's see. So uh, second action, we will move to the Clover Cup, uh, Club Lounge. And the ability here is while it is Act 1, Clover Cup launch gains um, action, discard an ally asset from your hand, gain two clues from the token pool, limit once per game. So if we get uh, Gregory, we might just chuck him to get the clues. Uh, let's see, do we want to do something else? I think we'll head to the Clover Club bar. So we can have a drink next round. And uh, that is all we can do. So enemy face the Clover Club boss hunts here. We'll draw a card. It is nihilism. So nihilism is uh, put nihilism into play in your threat area. Force after you reveal, cancel or ignore a, a auto fail token. Take one damage and one horror. Discard nihilism. So I think we are just 
ignoring that if we don't get the auto fail that much. So uh, we also get one resource, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Encounter card for this turn is a swarm of rats. So I think we have to deal with the rats. Won't be that big of an issue, but we'll see. So the rats are engaged with us. First action will be to just kill off the rats. So we are fighting 3 versus. One. It is a minus one, so the rats are defeated. Then, second action, I will play the Ian chart. We want to get that into play. So we are not having a lot of resources yet, but hopefully that will change soon enough. The last action is to. Oh yeah, we don't have the resources to drink, so maybe I don't want to play the Eon chart yet, so let's back up. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to do it like so, so uh, I still have two resources, so I'm using Skid's ability first to spend two resources. Um, we are testing... Uh, let's see. Uh, so we spent two resources. So we are testing base skill value of three against two, and we'll commit uh, one of the Eon charts. So we are four versus two. Uh, yeah, four versus two. Minus two, we succeed, and we'll gain two resources. And that is a fast action, so it doesn't count towards our actions for this turn. So next up, I will play the new chart, and then I have the resources to get a drink here. So uh, spend two resources, gain two clues from the token pool, and draw two cards. Remember that you have had a drink, so I'll put this token here, so I've used that ability. So we gain two resources from the token pool, or I mean clues from the token pool, and we draw two cards, we get obsessive and lucky. So I think we will get rid of the obsessive next round. And the pit boss moves here a bit late again doesn't stop us from cluing. Oh yeah, there are uh, action, um, secrets over here. So that is that round. Uh, we draw a card, we get internal injury, and we gain one resource. So I think we need to get rid of all of these or some of these weaknesses before we can start doing stuff. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. And count the card for this turn is another swarm of rats. So uh, then obsessive says, uh, when your turn begins, discard one non-weakness card at random from your hand. So we have to shuffle these oh. and not drop them. So let's shuffle, and we lose the lucky. Well, that is a shame, but at least it wasn't a hot streak. So, first action, we will punch the rats. 3 versus 1. It is a uh, minus 1. I also had a curse token in the bag, apparently, from my last game, but I removed that, so uh, it it isn't in the deck, uh, really. So the rats are defeated, and I'll do two actions to get rid of the obsessive. And uh, I think we 
can't do anything about the internal injury. So that is our turn. And no enemy actions. The hit boss is still uh, aloof, so we're ready up. Uh, at the end of your turn, take one direct damage. We draw a card. It is another easy mark. And we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So we start our turn with the Doom. So 4 of 11. We don't have that much time, so we start, need to start making some uh, resources soon enough. And we hit the Mobster. So the Mobster is uh, 2 fight 2 uh, evade and 2 health. Human Criminal Syndicate, Retaliate, Force, at the Mobster attacks you lose one resource, so the Mobster engages us. Because the Mobster doesn't have a loof. At least I think it is only. So the Clover Club hit boss is the only one that has a loof, so I think we are evading with the Eon Charge. And... Uh, Yeah, let's evade with the Eon chart. And we are evading uh, 4 versus 2. Do I want to... Uh, I really need the easy mark and maybe I still want to keep the Ethereal Slip at, re at the ready. So... We are just trying for this. It is a plus one, so this enemy is evaded. Uh, first action. Uh, we'll do a double action to get rid of the internal injury. Then we will play easy mark. Gain two resources, draw a card. And it is Gregory Cry, so next turn we'll head to the Clover Club Lounge to uh, ditch Gregory to get a couple of more clues. So then we can go to the Clover Club card room to get a lot of resources. Uh, nothing else happens, we're ready up. No enemy actions, we'll draw a card. Another easy mark, and we gain one resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, so 5 of 11, I have this enemy ready, so yeah, we need to evade it again. Forgot about <laughs> moving, but it is what it is. So, uh, encounter card for this turn is... Twist of Fate, uh, reveal a random token from Chaos Pack, let's see what we reveal. It is an Elder Thing token. Uh, if you reveal that, uh, take two horror. I will take two one on Jean and one on Skids. And that is that. Then we will use the Ion chart again to evade. Uh, we are. I don't think we need the easy mark, so I'm committing that. So we are five versus two. This zero, so we evade the mobs, the mobster, yeah. And first action, we will move to the lounge. Second action, we will uh, ditch Gregory. Gain two clues. Last action, we will play hot streak. So it costs uh, three resources. And we gain 10 resources, so I'm using these fives because we are, are going to have a lot of resources. So we have 12 resources now. Also, we can cash these in, so this will give us a hefty amount of resources. And also, this has a limit, so we mark that we have used that ability. That is all of our turn. And... Uh, 
be ready up. Oh yeah, the bit boss moves here. We gain a card, it is well connected, and we gain one resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. He and a Doom, so 6 of 11. Encounter card for this turn is another Twist of Fate, so we'll test this again. This time it is. Uh, we'll take another two horror, so not liking getting this much horror. It is what it is. Okay, and uh, that is the uh, encounter or the mythos phase done. So, first action we will move to the Clover Club card room. We could play here to get sources or, or clues, but we don't want to. Then, let's see. So, if you are at the Clover Club, Card room, spend any number of clues, you cash in your chips, gain 5 resources for each clue just spent. So we are spending all the clues, so 5, which means 25 resources. So we are loaded with cash. We have 38 resources. I think I at least want 40 or maybe 50, but we'll see. Last action. I will play uh, the well connected. And that is because now we have so much resources that that will give us a really hefty bonus. And. Uh, Maybe I'll try Skid's ability just for the laughs. Uh, so, 3 versus 1, I'm spending one resource. Uh, Cultis is a minus 4 if you have 10 or more resources, so unfortunately that failed. And it is our last action. So. The enemy phase, the pit boss hunts here. We ready up, we draw a card, we gain one resource. Oh, yeah, we could have exhausted well connected for that skill test. So I'm actually doing that. So we didn't fail, so we get an extra resource. Yeah, bit of backseas, but it is what it is, so that readies. And. Uh, yeah, at the end of the round, if an investigator has 15 or more resources advance, so advance, spawn the set aside Seal Hun Riley enemy in La Bella Luna, each investigator spawns one set aside Clover Club Bouncer enemy engaged with them. Oh dear, so. Okay, so. Next up, let's let's spawn those dudes first. So we get Sidon Riley at the Bella Luna. Then we get one Clover Club Bouncer. So they are on to us. We are winning too big. And now they want us gone. Or first they want to get the money back and then want us gone, so this is engaged with us, this spawns over here. And then let's look at the Act 2A. Hot on your tail, collect your winnings and escape. Each criminal enemy gains Hunter and gets plus one health. Oh dear. When an investigator resigns, place each of that investigator's resources on this Act. Objective. Collect as many resources as you can and get out when each in defeated investigator has resigned advance. So now this gets really hard. We have to do a lot of evading. So 
that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Eight of eleven, so we don't have that many turns left. Encounter card is false lead. If you have one or more clues, test uh, intellect four for each point you fail, but place one of your clues onto your location. Well, we don't have any clues, so this uh, just and arousing suspicion. Place one doom on each criminal enemy at your location. If no doom was placed by this effect, lose two resources. Uh, so we have two, so we add. No, we have one. No, oh, no, we have two. So uh, we are at uh, a let's see, seven, eight, nine of eleven. So we only have a couple of turns left because we won't be defeating any of these. So let's look at the bouncer because I haven't read the card. So it's one fight, three health or four health actually now, and one evade humanoid criminal. While Clover Club Bouncer is engaged with you, it gets plus one fight and plus one evade for every five resources you have. Spend three resources, parlay, test uh, intellect two. If you succeed, disengage from the Clover Club Bouncer and exhaust it if it does not uh, ready during the next upkeep phase. So this has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight evade. But we can use the well connected to get rid of this. So, first action, we'll actually use the Eon chart to evade. We'll uh, commit Gene. Or, let's see. Yeah. We don't want to use a terrible slip, I think. But we'll commit Gene to the test. We'll use well connected. So every four resources. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, plus five is fourteen against eight. Fifteen against eight. Do we need to commit Gene? Because yeah. There's no minus 5 in the back, so we hold on to Gene. So 14 against 8. We are up by 6. Minus 1, so the bouncer is evaded. And the Eon chart is used. First action, real action, is to evade the pit boss, and now we commit Gene. We are testing, uh, let's see, we have 5, 6 versus 3, so yeah, uh, only minus 4 and autofail fails us. And we get the Elder Thing, which is minus 3, so we are, we have evaded that. Uh, so the both, the both of them are there. Then we'll move to the Darkened Hall. Uh, when Darken Hall is revealed, uh, we put into play three set aside back hall doorways. And we'll just place them over here. Like so. I'm actually moving the pit boss over to this side. Now we have to find the back exit to escape from there. And uh, let's see. We still have one action left. And um, I'm just uh, moving once over here. So it's the art gallery. After you fail a skill test while investigating the art gallery, lose two resources. So the, well, we'll grab the clue to get the victory point and leave here next round. Okay, so that is everything we can do. So. 
Sea of Han Riley hunts here. This uh, mobster is actually ready. Let's put this also over here. This already, but this hunts here. So we have a death ball of <laughs> three criminals coming after us. So we get need to get out of here fast. And uh, we draw a card. It is unscrupulous loan, and we gain one resource. So, hmm, yeah, I think that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom, so we are at ten of eleven. So. Uh, now that I think of it, this is the last turn, because we don't have uh, time to grab this clue, move, move, and resign. So we need to move, move, and hope we find the correct place and resign, but we'll see. Uh, we'll get an encounter card. This curse lock, so we put it into play. So we, we are unlucky, but it's okay. Uh, first off, I will... Mm, Unfortunately, we don't have time to play the unscrupulous loan because that is 10 resources right there, but we are out of time and we don't have any charges on the Eon chart anymore. We spent most of them for evading. So uh, we'll do the skits free action and I'll spend three resources. Then I will use well connected. So we are up by a billion. It is a minus one, so we'll generate three more resources. So um, I'll change this to a five. And let's see, do I count correctly? So yeah, we get six back. So we are at 42 resources, which is, I think, decent. Then first action, we'll move to the darkened hall. Uh, so it's a 50-50 chance to get out in time. Uh, okay, so I'll just go here. And it is the back alley. So it, it has one clue and the resign and we, well, this was discarded when we well connected. And I will just resign because why not? So, uh, let's see. Collect as many resources as you can to get out and get out when each investi undefeated investigator has re resigned advance. And when an investigator resigns, place each of that investigator's resources on this act. So we place 42 resources there. And we advance. So the thrill of victory. You run out of the door and sprint around the corner, winnings in hand. The adrenaline rush is like no other. Once at a safe distance, you count your money, take a deep breath and are relieved. This outing puts a big dent in your depths. Surely this night will only add to your reputation. Lady Luck is always on your side. And... Uh, Let's see what we get with the 42 resources. So, uh, resolution one, heart pounding and accelera acceleration cursing through your veins. You don't know what gives you more of a rush, winning more money from the Obanians or escaping from them. This night is proof of what you've always thought. Skits are true, always wins. Each investigator earns experience equal to the combined victory X value of each card in the victory display. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get any victory points out of the table, but uh, if the number of resources on Act 2 is uh, 40 or more, Schizo Tool earns one bonus experience and begins the next scenario with uh, four additional resources. Well, uh, not the best result that we could have had, but 
it is a positive result, so we got an extra experience and we escaped with the winnings. So I think we got a bit too many enemies, so the rats slowed us down. Uh, the one crucial turn where we had to evade the uh, bouncer and the big boss was really crucial. If we would have failed any of those tests, uh, we wouldn't have gotten out alive or or without getting defeated or maybe we would and we we'll, we don't know for sure but those guys would have hit us hard but uh, that was a para parallel skits or tool in the all or nothing we got 42 resources so i think it's a decent result thanks for watching and until next time